Right, this is the reference to a youth who, um, sadly enough, didn't like me uh, dogging this fairavader because no doubt he's been begging on the street, saying he's homeless. Now, I've been homeless for 14 years. You can tell I'm homeless by local, my total appearance. I know I do all these shows and stuff like that, but I don't go dogging it. You know, I homeless people, you really want to see what really homeless people are, take a good trip down to the city, take time out. Less of that, less of wanting a beef with everybody who disagrees with what you think is right and don't like people talking about it. People saying, yeah, he said, oh, he wanted me to be homeless. Oh, I hope you're homeless. I have to tell him, oh, you're sad. I am homeless. But there you go. I'm not going to go blaming about too much of that. I'm not going to bite me bloody blower on that too much. So anyways, leads one to another. Still got a sleeper on here. Uh, the one I was actually in you ending about. And uh, I won't show him because it's not the way you do things to this degree. But back to that use who wanted a big beef with me, the old dog, and would comment about how bad my teeth are. Well, it's because I'm a homeless person anyway. So, I'm the real homeless, not a person who has an apartment just up the road from here, and I know they have, I've seen them come out of the apartment. When they're begging on the street, probably, and because they want something either for uh, gambling, drugs, Alcohol or all three, or just two, who knows? But this is what people do. They get more money off the state than you and I could ever can possibly dream about. Some of them, well, we don't go into that because I'm not doing a show on that sort of subject. But, lo and behold, here they are, and here's this situation. This young youth, he's going home to his mummy or daddy or wherever he's residing, and he's worrying about a driver who is dogging in a humorous gestural fashion to try and get the attention of the guy who wanted to be a fair evader to come forward and just ask. Simply ask and then you'll probably get. If you don't ask and just come in at the back, unlike most of my colleagues who say, Oi son, off the engine and out you go. I don't do that because it's not my nature. I give my dues for everybody and everybody their dues. But when you got a little youth who thinks He's only way out of the bloody diapers and he wants to beef with an old man like me because he feels he's defending a homeless person. The lad, listen, son, you're not my son, but child, whatever. Young man, we'll call you politely. Young man, you really want to see homeless people and I really hope you do look at this. Look at the homeless. Go down to the city. That's where you need to go. Now, I have to go down there quite a number of times myself, and you will see the real homeless people that aren't just sitting in a dark corner, sitting by a cash machine, sitting at a bus shelter, wanting to jump on a bus free. There's plenty of those out there. Because they don't want to work or whatever their situation, because they need money for alcohol, drugs, gambling, or all three. Who knows? I don't know. I can't judge people that way. But what I do know, when I know where they're living and when they're not homeless, yeah, that gets on, that gnaws my balls. But this ain't a gnaws my balls show. This one is an actual conversation with, directed at young lad who wanted a big eef with uh, the old dog here. But listen, lad, take a trip down to the town. Go to the big city. Walk around Oxford Circus. Better still, take a walk down at Baker Street. Take a walk down to Portland Street. Go actually down Regent Street. Each little area, there's an alley. There's a shop window. Look at, even go down Charing Cross. And you will see loads of either cardboard boxes. You will see things such as bundles of what would appear to be clothing, which is in fact a sleeping bag, they are the real homeless people. Rather than defending people who claim they're homeless when they are not at all. I mean, good cue to know which is homeless isn't. One thing is one. If they're wearing tidy, clean clothing and modern clothing, then you can only then realise, ah, 
they're not really homeless. But if they're wearing rags and rolls and their attire is not very good, messy hair even, no teeth, or any other kind of, you know, holes in the trousers or no, no socks, no shoes, they, and to come out of a sleeping bag, they are the homeless, not people who want you to think that they're homeless so you can give them money. Ah, oh, poor person, here's some money. You give them enough money, they've made more money from the state than you're going to ever earn in your life. And they're going to use that either in a gambling constabulary, a pub, an off-license, or a supplier. So bear that in mind when you want to get your head kicked in by offending the wrong type of driver. This time you tried to offend me, you didn't. I gave you the words back, but I don't have no time for people who want to fight, especially young children. I've got children not much older than yourself. So bear that in mind. If you got offended, think carefully. Try not to drink too much. And if you do, keep your head clear. Till then, boy, if I see you going on the road, either verbal or don't verbal, but try and acknowledge that what I say to you isn't because I want to bash your head in, because it's not my way. You're only but a mere child. I'm but an old man who ain't got no time for none of that nonsense. So bear that in mind. I like life. You should like life. You're young. Enjoy. And if you are in college, do well. That's all I can say. But think carefully before you defend the wrong type of people. Because one day you will, and you will end up getting yourself hurt. And that is a fact. I know this because I once was one of that. I was once that type of person. I got hurt for defending somebody. For the wrong reasons. Till then, or not, take care of yourself. Be lucky. And study. Bye.